like we always do at this time. I go for my, y'all know how I do it. Say it one more time. Like we always do at this time, I go for mine. <laughs> y'all, I'm just sitting here grooving. I'm chilling. I supposed to be doing some research. I said, fuck the research, it's on. <laughs> now, before there was a King Vaughn, there was a L.A. Capone. And this kid, L.A. Capone, was about his business when he came to this microphone. He kind of he put you in the mind of Vaughn, the way he ripped and his style. Shit he rapped about. He's a real dude. Well, one day he went to a studio and he was gunned down. But you want me to tell you what's so funny about this story? I'll tell you in a second. First of all, I need y'all to do me a favor. Look at this name on the screen. Her name, Mata. Mata. Mata is from the BX, the Bronx. She represents the Bronx. Born and raised in the Bronx. Stomp the grounds of the Bronx. It's my own girl, man. I ain't gonna tell y'all where I know her from, but trust me, I know her personally. It's my dude. She's cool as hell. Cooler than a motherfucker. But I heard her some time back. And I was fucked up in the head after I heard her because I felt like a lot of MCs stole her style. Females, that is. Some even called themselves young this and young that. And I told Ty, I said, Ty, go out there and do your thing because these bitches are stealing your shit and, 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 and want to be you because you got females out to my snake gave and had a boyfriend before they became a rapper, but you know, that's either here nor there. Check out this song, it's called Victory. This is my own girl, man. Bump that shit. y'all to go to a video and check out the rest because when I tell you, this shit only gets better. This song is one of her old bangers before she really, really, really perfected her craft. Now, this here song right here, this song is at least seven years old of her. Could you imagine the shit she's doing now? But like I said, Check out y'all. Her name Mata. It's my own girl from the BX. Now, if she was out since 2014, I'm almost sure that that would make her been out before Young Ma. Do y'all hear the skills? Do y'all hear the style? I told you, my time. I'm playing your shit. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this is my sister-in-law, y'all. My own girl, my time. Well, she ain't my sister-in-law no more because I don't date her sister. So, just still, still my sister. I don't care. It is what it is. Now, as we keep this shit rolling and moving and grooving, I got to put y'all up on some more game. Before there was a King Vaughn, there was an L.A. Capone. 
What's fishy about the L.A. Capone story, the more research I'm doing about this kid, it boggles my fucking head. That. The way he went out, some of the same players that had something to do with King Vaughn was involved. Two of them, I definitely know. And it is weird to me because the same kind of... Okay, Vaughn was killed at a club. Capone was killed at a studio. Vaughn was killed in the middle of the street. Capone was killed in a field, in an alleyway. It looked like a field. You could look across to see a field, but it's an alleyway. The thing that the thing that killed me when when they said that the night that King Von died, he supposed to have met Boosie, right? Let me tell you what's strange about L.A. Capone that nobody really talks about. The night that L.A. Capone supposed to have died, guess who he supposed to have met? Or guess who he was in the making? He went to the studio to do a track to go meet. Guess who? Guess who? Oh, you guessed it. T.I. Now, so now we got Dirk, T.I. named back and some shit that happened. And he was telling everybody he was supposed to have went to Atlanta to meet T.I. So Dirk got, so Dirk got Dylan's with T.I. So when T.I. got on, hold on, let me show y'all. Now, even though this video is from when T.I., then the virus was going on and people was looting downtown, but listen to T.I.'s speech. That is the place where People like me, Killer Mike, other artists, creatives, uh, other people who come from our culture, and other people who rise up out of the wreckage of the struggle that we all experience just by being born a certain color in this country. Uh, but Atlanta is a place uh, where we can set an example of prosperity, and we've done that for generations. People like Dr. Dr. King, uh, uh, mate. Well, anyway, let me show you how much prosperity T.I. has. Because let me tell you something. I could guarantee you, if you dig back and look into King Von's story, T.I. has something to do with it too. Because let me explain something to you that fucked my head up. They tried to make it like, okay. T.I., I mean, um, Lil Durk and T.I. really ain't never had no songs together, so... When he made the statement, everybody was mad. I was like, oh, T.I. need to mind his business. T.I. did just what T.I. supposed to have did. Let me explain something to you. Now, the thing I find funny about these two, these two right here, these two right here, I'm going to show you what's funny, right? And I keep telling people, I'm the goddamn man. My arm the king. You don't believe that? Let me show you. See these two, right? And if you listen to this kid's story, it's so similar to King Von. It makes me sad to even sit here and listen to his story because he seemed like a cool-ass little kid, right? But notice the people that's involved, and I'm going to show you something. The same people that had shit to do with dirt. I mean, with um King Von. Listen. He's supposed to send it to Dirk. His tape supposed to came out on the first. This was the twenty fifth. So did Dirk? I wonder what day did Capone die. Let's look and see. Now, it's all similar. What's going on, right? The little guy, Ali Capone. He supposed to, he um did the song on the twenty sixth. After he finished his song and was leaving the studio, he was mysteriously gunned down. Somebody witnessed him being gunned down. But now, when I show you and let you hear the second person, look at the second name that comes up in this here. Now, this person's name ain't come up in Vaughn's death, but he spoke about Vaughn's death as soon as Vaughn got killed. Listen. Now. What's fucked up is with King Von, they set, they set King Von up with Boosie. They told King Von that he's supposed to have been meeting Boosie 
at the hookah lounge in which Boosie never showed up, King Von ended up getting killed. Listen at who LA listen at who LA Capone supposed to have met. He was also he was he kept telling me that he was supposed to be me, T.I., some shit, flying to Atlanta with dirt to me, T.I. He's supposed to be flying to Atlanta with who to me? What? But, 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 but when Vaughn got killed, T.I. had so much to say, right? But at the end of the day, him and Dirk been doing business together ever since L.A. Capone got killed. You dig? L.A. Capone never met T.I. neither. I can guarantee you that. What happened to L.A. Capone music? I keep hearing Dirk name come up and understand Take 600. Where he take 600 at? Well, I'll tell you where he take 600 at when he's not sleeping with Dirk's baby mother. He's chilling, I guess. But he distanced himself from these guys because he know what happened to L.A. Capone. And from my understanding, him L.A. Capone was very, very, very close to 600. He still spent time with his, with his family, his mother, his sisters, his uncle, everybody. And he go, it's a rumor out there. Well, it's not, I think, I, well, it was a rumor. And to take 600, cleared up the rumor. So him and Dirk not even friends anymore because he slept with his, his baby mother. And I would have slept with her too if I'd have found out that he had my friend killed for music. And God knows that boy, that boy, that boy was finna blow up. L.A. Capone was gonna blow up and be bigger than, damn, there a lot of those rappers out there. Cause I, listen to his music. I ain't, I ain't gonna say I heard. So now ask yourself, now, why I wrap this shit up, peep game, Bootsy set up Vaughn, T.I. set up L.A. Capone, and they're best friends, look at them, they're there just to chill, look at Tiny said, I don't even want to be bothered with these old two snakes, they both snakes, that's probably with Tiny standing there texting, these two snakes, I hate their conversation, <laughs> Because these two right here, look at the history. Von supposed to have met Boosie. Capone supposed to have met this dude over here with the army ugly hat on. You get what I'm going with this? And I didn't even know this dude, L.A. Capone. Somebody had been telling me to look up on him. But the more I'm reading this, it's only the beginning because it's some more mysterious shit that happened. Some mysterious shit that happened with him. As far as with other people, I'm not even going to call out no names because I don't want nobody to get mad at me. But people was acting very strange when that boy died. Because let me tell you something. If my son was up in the, in, in the goddamn emergency room getting the surgery, the last thing going to be on my mind is to go downstairs and eat. The last thing on my mind is going to be to go play some fucking numbers. That's going to be the last shit on my mind if my son is in surgery from being shot. I don't give a fuck if he got shot in his pinky toe. I will not be saying, I'm going to go play a number. I'm going downstairs to get the, get the kids something to eat. Now all that shit is obsolete when you're worried about your child. So I'm not going to get into all of that, but anybody who follow this story, you know where I'm going. You know what I'm talking about when I say what I just said. All y'all who don't, okay, well, go look. If all y'all want to say something negative... Come on, because I got a nice little game of, it's called, re, what is it called? Report. Report. Remove and hide user from my channel. Those are my three steps for you. I don't got to say none. I hit the button, bop, 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 right down the line. I'll never see you again. You'll never see me again. So if you got something negative to say, put it on the comments. Put up the black fist. I know it's you. Just because it always be damn near your own people doing this to you. So throw up the little black fist and I know it's you. And I'm like, bop, 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 bop. And I'll see you in another. I guess I'll see you next lifetime. No hard feelings. Hmm. Believe that shit. It's your boy Costa Don. I'm signing out. I hope y'all like this story. If y'all know who L.A. Capone is, please check him out. And if y'all don't know who my tie is on my on my intro, check her out. Check her out. Dope, dope, dope. Oh, yo. It's your boy Costa Don. I salute you. We'll hate to shoot you. Signing out. Peace.